Hello, my lovelies. So, I am back. And, um, I know a lot of you have noticed that I don't, um, post a lot. Um, and we're going to discuss that today, why I don't post a whole, whole lot. As I said in my earlier videos, my doctor had suggested that I do this. My mental health doctor has suggested that I start reaching out because I was starting to become um, withdrawn from the public. So it was having an effect on my mental health. I used to be social. Well, more social than I am now. And he has suggested doing YouTube videos and just trying to reach out to the populace and see if I could make friends, even if it's just over the internet, and then use that as a tool to branch out more physically in a social way and maybe meet people in the real world to kind of combat my social anxiety and social awkwardness. So I did, and I wasn't a huge, huge fan at first. I kind of felt like I was talking to myself. But as more people started responding, I started realizing that it was actually a very useful platform. And that, you know, and I've said this before, I'm not monetized. I don't get a penny out of these videos. I'm not seeking money. There's no reason to. Um, we were fine. You know, we're a family and, you know, I'm not going to go into our, you know, our um, financial details but I will just say that we're fine we're we're you know are we rich no are we destitute no we're like I said we're we're comfortable and that's how I like to be you know and at any given time I could go back to work I'm not working right now so you know that's that's personal business why I'm not currently working at this moment and I'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Anyway, my biggest thing lately is that I've been dealing with depression and anxiety, which given the state that everything's in, oh, that lighting's so bad. It's kind of not a surprise. Do y'all see that? Like right here, lighting, it's, it's natural light, but I was using it to kind of brighten up the room. And now it's like brightening up the room too much. Anyway, I digress. So, I did go off my meds for a while. That's a personal reason not to be discussed with anybody. But it was a personal choice that I made. Now, I am on pain management medication. And I went off of that too for personal reasons. But recently, I started back on my medication uh, well, the anxiety medication, I should specify. The anxiety medication. I still only take the pain medication as needed. I have health problems. As I've said to many people, I have lupus. Um, I have injuries from the past. And as needed. So, right now I'm on my um, anti-anxiety medication, which helps combat you know, the depression and the just overall feeling of nervousness and that something bad's going to happen to me. And I also got me a nice little drink right here, uh, Bahama Mama. Don't judge. I am not an alcoholic. I've had like, this is my first drink of the year. That's a lie. This is my second drink of the year. Hey, it's May. <laughs> I'm joking. I knew what month it was. I just wanted to pick on y'all a little bit. It's May. So the second drink of the year. That's pretty good. Fruity. Anyway. And I don't drink a lot. This is it. I've got my Bahama Mama in my Halloween glass. While I'm wearing my Harley Quinn pants. And my mismatched toenails, so I'm feeling hella fine. Mm. 
don't ruin it for me. That's just how I feel. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about how my depression and anxiety affects how I post. Now, don't get me wrong. I love posting videos. I love talking to all you now. It's become something that I look forward to. But when my anxiety and my depression are up, and even my pain, when it's up to a point where it becomes bothersome, I don't post. I don't find the um, drive to post. I don't have the just the overall drive and um, that affects how I post because if you don't feel like doing something nine times out of ten you're not going to do it. If you don't feel like exercising you're usually not going to do it or if you're hurting too bad to do it you're not going to do it or if you're just overall too anxious to do it nine times out of ten it's not going to get done and that was me. Now some of you noticed in the past I have and I've been chewing on my lips. I do it at night a lot. I have uh, swelling like right here and just overall where I bite at night. I don't realize I do it until I wake up and I'm either doing it or I wake up because I bit myself really super hard and it hurts and I wake up and I'm like, ow, what was that? And I realize, oh, I'm biting myself. And it's just, I do it during the day. Um, I try to keep chapstick on my lips, but I do lick my lips a lot out of nervous habit. It's just something, ah, oh, gosh, I've done it as far back as I can remember. And if you could see, some people have noted in the past, I have bumps, and I even have a mark here, and some bumps, where I have bitten clean into the lip before, and have left sores or bites, or whatever you want to call them. And they healed, but they either scarred, or they left hard tissue from where I bit myself. And right now, there's swelling in my bottom lip because I was biting myself all last night and all the night before. Just out of habit. And when I get on the camera, I notice a lot, and I've noticed when looking at my videos, that I do that. And I guess it's because I'm a little nervous from being on there and I know that people are going to see this and it's just an automatic tick that I just do and I don't know it until I look back at the video footage and I'm like, oh, oh. people are going to think I'm really thirsty. Just, you know, just over here licking away on my lips, just and it probably looks odd I can imagine it looks odd to me when I look at it and I'm like why am I doing that did I really do that that many times why did I not notice and it's just something that takes place and happens and you know I can't really help it there I go again I felt that one and <laughs> it's just something that happens and I try to consciously control it but like the better I feel the more I'll post. And that's why since this pandemic's hit, I've posted less and less and less and less. And it's not that I have anything against people or, oh, I'm just not gonna video today. No, it has nothing to do with that. I'll be like, oh, maybe I should post a video today. And then I'm like, in a minute. Not right now, in a few, well, maybe later. And I'm like, oh, it's too late. I can't do it now. Like, it really matters what time it is. But in my mind, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just putting off something that I would like to do. And it's just pushing it off because of um, anxiety or depression or pain or whatever it may be. Or a combination of two or three. You know, it's just, you know, procrastinating really. But then if I have a good day, you know, like, maybe it's just, you know, good weather or we had some good food or it's just been an overall good day, you know, saw a friend I hadn't seen in a long time or, or just overall had a good feeling day with no pain, no anxiety, no depression. 
then I pick up the camera and I'm like, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to do a video today. And I know I've been promising that I'm going to do a video on uh, makeup. And I am. I swear I am. I just got to go get my brushes. And it's coming. But I thought today with, you know, May being Lupus Aware Month and um, Mental Health Awareness was this month and or is this month and stuff like that I thought that I would jump on here real quick to say hi to everybody um for those of you who suffer with depression anxiety despite um well despite not the right word besides medication other than medication because you might be on medication what are some other ways that you deal with your anxiety and or depression and or pain management? Because I know a lot of people on pain management automatically the doctors prescribe medication. And sometimes on anxiety and a lot of times on depression, medication is just something that goes with the package. But besides that, maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's, I don't know, fill in the blank. How do you deal with with chronic pain or depression or anxiety and comment below i love to hear some of your replies or some of your stories some of your explanations um i know i'd be looking like a hot drunk mess right now i swear i'm not drunk i'm just um i'm not even tipsy i'm just comfortable yeah that's the word comfortable Sure, I'm comfortable. And <laughs> and um, just trying to enjoy the day. It has been a better day today. It was rough starting, but then it got better as the day progressed. So that's always a positive thing. Um, on the down note, I did wake up this morning feeling very sick. And I went to go check my sugar. And it was down to 42 which was alarming, so I had to get something to eat real quick. So that was fun. Trying not to get sick and make something to eat at the same time. That was not fun. Um, I ended up just eating some cereal. Nothing too sweet. Nothing too hard to make. Uh, now, two days ago, I woke up to a sugar of 312, which was highly alarming. And... I had to take measures to bring it down but either I did a really good job at bringing it down or this is just my body's way of dealing with the anxiety and depression and maybe even the pain you know that can have an effect on your sugar levels your glucose levels and I don't know it's hard to tell it's hard to say um, it's just really hard to say right now. I'll know a little better in a couple of days as I kind of even stuff out and go back to my normal routine. What exactly happened? Uh, it'll become more evident as the day or the week's week goes by. Week, weeks, whatever. And I'll be able to tell from that, you know, kind of what happened in that scenario. Because most of the time, my sugar stays at a norm, which it has been known to jump and spike and drop. And when that happens, you know, I have to look at what happened. Like, what were the contributing factors that caused this spike or drop? In this case, I really don't know. I don't know because it was out of the blue and I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure in the next couple of days or weeks, I will be able to kind of pinpoint where what went wrong or if it's just a hormonal thing or, uh, you know, whatever it might be. If stress is a factor or if depression is a factor or if pain is a factor, what it might be. And it'll reveal itself eventually. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe. I know things are kind of letting up, places are opening, um, guidelines are kind of easing back, but please, please, please still be safe. 
you know, remember that people out there are counting on you. Some of you might have family, children, you know, that's family, parents, that's family, you know, or just really close friends that you count as family. Just try to take the best care of yourself that you can. I know sometimes it's hard, and right now everybody's struggling, and I know that's really hard, but please, just for the sake of, you know, those that love you, please just try to take extra good care of yourself right now. It, I think right now we're in that place where it's extremely, extremely poor, important that we be careful and just take care of ourselves really well because I just feel like we're at a precipice and we're either going to come back off of this and be okay or we're going to be reckless and we're going to fall off the precipice and we're going to have problems and it's going to have a long run effect in the end like a domino effect once once it hits the other hits the other hits the other hits and so on and so on and so on and I just don't want to see that happen to people I care about my family my friends all of you out there so you know I guess I'm just saying in a really long-winded way just be safe take care I'm going to see you soon I hope everything's going to work out for the best and um, just stay strong for each other because that's what we need right now I know I need it I know some of my friends need it and when we stay strong for each other we help each other out as a community you know overall the whole world's just one big community and when we stay strong for each other we help everyone not just us but everyone so you do your part I'll do mine and we will see each other when we come out on the other side of this and I hope I will come out with more content soon just you know keep me in your thoughts that everything goes okay and that I start feeling better and I'm going to go finish my drink now and start on something for the family to eat this evening and I love you all and I'll see you soon and bye